Hello YouTube and welcome to the 25th Weka tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how you'll be able to format sparse data so that you'll be able to feed to Weka in ARF file format. To begin with, let's see what is called sparse data. So I have uh, made up a file myself to demonstrate this tutorial that's called sparse data, sparse.data. So here you can see the relation name is sparse.data and I have 10 real, real, at real valued attributes and one class attribute that's spam and ham. So the real valued attributes are representing here the function words, various function words, uh, for example, the, in, of, which, etc. What my data set represents here, this is a very tiny data set for the tutorial, but what it is representing here is the number of function words present in some documents. Uh, so we have two instances here. So that, so that we can say that uh, our data set is containing two documents and what we're trying to find out is the number of uh, occurrences of each of these 10 function words in those two documents. So this is a sparse data set. Why? Because you can see that we are having lots of zeros in our data sets because it is not necessary that a document should have the inside of it. So it's zero. But the first document has one in, as we are having one at the position two for the second attribute. And also we are having some values here, three, but the other function words are zeros. Similar uh, to the first one, the second one also represents a sparse nature, where you can see lots of zeros, just one four, which, is, which means that our second document has which appearing four times in it but the other function words are absent in that document. And it's for just to play with the spams and hams are the labels of the documents. So this is a sparse data. So from this example, you can see that the sparse data means that when your data is containing lots of similar values, in this case, which is zero. To represent this in Weka, uh, or to represent this in our file format so that you can feed that file to Weka, because uh, these values here, uh, th these are quite good looking so far. But when you're having, we are just having 10 attributes here, real valued attributes. But when, when you're having uh, millions of attributes, for example, in text mining, you can see millions of attributes can be uh, extracted from the documents. So in that case, you'll have, uh, for example, uh, 99,000 uh, zeros and the rest are filled with values uh, for function words frequency. But to see such data set, it's a very cumbersome one. This is not exactly what you're trying to look at, but Weka will be able to read that. Because if we go to uh, the Weka Explorer here, we are just opening that file, particular file. We are going to uh, my drive where I have saved the file. So let's go to program files and we're going down to Weka 3.6 data and sparse example. So you can see that uh, my, my data set can be fed to Weka very easily, but this is not exactly what we are, what we are expecting uh, to appear on the screen here because we are having lots of zeros just a few uh, couple of uh, values real values real time real values there so uh, in that case to represent this in a different way which also will be able to be fed to Weka uh, we have some different ways so to write down that uh, we need to see you need we need to go to the data section you can see that uh, to do that how many zeros are before our first real value uh, that is one so that's just one zero so you see you can write down one and then you put one you put a comma then you can see our second real value there is three so how many values are preceding that three so that's one two three 
4, 5, and 6. So we write down a 6 there, space 3. So this means, this eventually means that we have a 1, but w one more digit, digit is preceding that 1. So we have a 3, and 6 more digits are preceding that 3. And now our next value is spam, which is the class level. But how many values are before us, uh, are preceding spam? So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So we write down 10 space spam. Okay. So for the second instance, the second document in our, uh, uh, in our data set, we have three zeros preceding a four. So that means we are going to write down three space four. Then we put a comma and the rest of the values are zeros. Then we have the class label ham for the second document. So we are having 10, in 10 uh, attributes, attribute values there. And then we are having our second value, which is not zero for that particular instance. So we write down a 10 space ham. And then we can ignore these two entries there because they're, they're similar. So these two are representing, representing the two lines that I just deleted. So to wrap up, I need to put uh, each instance there with a curly brace. So I put a curly brace at the beginning, curly, curly brace close. And for the second instance, I'm again putting a curly brace at the beginning and one at the end. And I save the file. And then we go to our Wake Explorer. We are going to open the file. And we're going down to sparse example. We click it and you can see that it's now opening in Wake Explorer. I hope that helps. Thank you very much.